Hey everybody, fair day here. Um, I've never done an unboxing. I have a lot of tarot decks. The vast majority of them I got long before I ever started hanging out on YouTube. Um, I think the newest one I have I actually bought after I saw an unboxing on YouTube. And didn't particularly seem like a good idea to do an unboxing based on something I got from an unboxing. Um, but today, in the mail, I received Benabel Wen's Tarot, Spirit Keeper's Tarot Revelation Edition. I've been working my way through her book of maps for a while now. I'm going to be working through it for a long while. It's got a lot in it. It needs to be digested slowly rather than devoured all at once. I'm going to really make some of the information she's got in it um, sink in and digest and become a part of me. But I just have a strong desire to do my first unboxing with this deck. Now, most of the videos you've seen from me, I'm the, not the oldest ones, but you're either in the car or here. And my friend Alexandra is telling me in no uncertain terms that I have to set it up in such a way that I'm going to be able to have the camera pointed at the cards and not at me. I guess I'm just not that good looking. And the cards will be. Um, so... I don't know when I actually get this uploaded because I'm going to need to move over to the place where I was originally was shooting videos and pull out the old tablet and see if I can set it up so that I can aim it at the cards rather than at me and uh, then edit this all together and then upload it. But um, I cannot wait one second longer to look at this, so time to do that. Time to move over to the, to the spot where... You can see the cards and not me, because I want to look at the cards too. So, be right back. Okay, so here I am sitting at my altar, and <clears throat> you're probably going to think it's kind of messy if you get too much of a glimpse of it. Um, it isn't actually dirt, those are burns. I, I tend to think of my altar as kind of a, um, of a workshop, and... I've made mistakes over the years that have scarred this old table, but every single one of those scars is a lesson that I've learned, and I'm kind of proud of them, and I don't need it to be all shiny and new looking. I kind of like the fact that it's kind of battered and experienced. Anyway, I already sliced the tape through with my favorite blade here. Let's take a look inside. We got some bubble wrap, and we got the deck itself in bubble wrap. Let me move the box and the bubble wrap off here, and take off the other layer of bubble wrap. And what do we have here? Certificate of Authenticity, this, this certifies that deck number 487 of 3507 is an authentic Revelation Edition first print run of the Spirit Keeper's Tarot from the art studios of Benabel Wen and her signature. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and we've got a little card here. I'm not sure who this lady is. I'm sure it was on one. Oh, and there's a Buddha. That's very beautiful. Very beautiful. And I definitely want to find out more about this lady. I seem to remember that uh, Ms. Wen has some um, video up where she talks about it, and it's just escaping my memory at the moment, but... I will enjoy finding out more. 
Let's see. Beneficent in command and word. Was Isis, the goddess of magical spells, the company of gods rejoiced at the coming of Horus, the son of Osiris, the triumphant whose heart was steadfast, son of Isis, heir of Osiris, Khafri, creator of the gods. You are seated upon your throne, illuminating your mother nut. Bull of Amentet, Toth, the king of eternity. You are with me, my hair is the hair of Nut, goddess of the sky. My face is the face of Aten, disc of the sun. My eyes are the eyes of Hathor, goddess of joy. My ears are the ears of Wepwawet, Wepwawet, god of war. May the eye of Horus protect me, keep me in safety, and may my adver adversaries fall down headlong before me. From the Egyptian Book of the Dead. That's beautiful. And we've got some more, we've got some more shrink wrap around this. And we've got another card here. Sapra Ode. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm looking at this through the phone rather than real close up, so let me take a look to see how I get it out of here. I think the card stays on the plastic. Okay. And we definitely want to keep that card. She's another beautiful divine lady there. Set that aside. And I love listening to Bell talk about the box. And I love listening to other unboxers talk about the box. I am not as much into boxes as some people are, but this is a beautiful box. And it opens easy. And here's the little white book. Mm. Little white book. It's even called little white book. How many pages is this little white book? 83. Lay your fears by my feet, I will dispel them. Name what afflicts you, I can heal it. Whatsoever you need, I shall provide. Here is your refuge, here you will find sanctuary. Ooh, tell me what you what it is you seek, I will show you the way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Angel who records, whose hands seal upon this book of remembrance, who bears witness to all to enumerate every deed since creation from the beginning of the world to this day, from my cradle to my grave, I invoke you to read to me, to show me, to transcribe upon my heart, to place upon the mantle of my mind the pages of the book I petition for. Let it be the truth, let that truth come what may ever be used to work the highest good, and so may it be. And we've got chapter seven on major arcana, minor arcana, minor arcana, seven lower realms. The thing about this, I didn't sort of discover YouTube tarot slingers and witches and sorcerers and magicians until two previous editions of the book of the the Spirit Keepers deck were um already sold out. I did, however, buy a copy of the Vitruvian Edition Book of Maps. And this is not just a fortune-telling deck. Uh, this is what I look for in tarot decks, which is it's, it's a representation 
it's like a, a it's like a, a mandala a 78 card mandala it's a it's a snapshot of infinity in 78 79 pieces i think i remember bell saying somewhere that she put in more than or to like more than one of, of some cards um the um and it's shifting. You shuffle it so it's moving. It's a moving picture of the world, and it should contain a system of magic. And I already know from reading in the book of maps and in um, listening to Bell talk about it and following her on Instagram and Facebook and um, well, I don't know about Facebook. I don't. I don't think I subscribe to her on Facebook, but um, Twitter that this is an entire system of magic, and I'm really looking forward to it. I have an announcement about something about that at the end of the video. What do we have here? My glasses don't like looking at things through the phone. Tell me what it is you seek. I will show you the way. Lay your fears at my feet. I will dispel them. So that's beautiful. It's a beautiful box. And we've got some plastic around the deck here. There we go. And look at the gilding. Oh, that's beautiful. I think this is, I've got a lot of tarot decks, but I think this is the first one I've got that's gilded. That's very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, it feels good in the hands. That's beautiful. So, let's actually go through and look at the cards. I'm going to take my glasses off. The Initiate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, this could be hours if I stop and talk about each one of these cards though. I know you don't want to watch me pontificate about these cards for hours because I know Ms. Wen is going to be doing it herself, but I really love the the Orphic egg here. The three three bands. The fox. Oh, it's beautiful. Sort of the green manish. The initiate. Seeker, I love the symbols in the corners. Oh, yeah, it's trigrams. Yeah, yeah. The keeper. Magus. Yeah. I just can't help but look at some things in contrast, like, um, got the Orphic Egg there, and then she's got sort of an Ouroboros kind of serpent thing going around her. Um, almost like she's hatched from the Orphic Egg, which makes sense. This is the initiate, so the egg. And then we follow up with the Magus who's out of the egg, but the serpent still they have in common. The sanctuary of Isis, the priestess is in the sanctuary of Isis. Oh, beautiful. And I love the fact that she's got the astrological attributes and the elemental attributes and the, the trigrams from the I Ching, the Emperor. Oh, these are so much. I mean, I've got the I've got the book, and I know that she's she the coloring didn't come out exactly the way she wanted from the printing, but I think this is stunningly beautiful. I really do. Oh, her take on things is neat, and I love. All the mythology she puts in. This is the lovers and the bow and arrow there reminds me of Sagittarius, which 
in in like uh, the Rider Waite and in the Toth and in, in uh, Golden Dawn base decks, there's an angel in the Lovers, and there's an angel in um, Temperance, which is Sagittarius, and you've got the bow and arrow where you would expect to see the angel, and it, if it, it it's it connects the two cards and the two angels, or maybe the same angel in, in two cards. Chariot of Osiris. The tamed lion, and there's those serpents again. Oh, the sun peeking out over the corner. I know there's probably absolutely no intent to it whatsoever, but it puts me in mind of some old 60s art, like a Peter Max or the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, or... I remember having a poster when I was a kid in the 60s. It was all black and white, but you bought magic markers with it and you could color it in, and there were tons of stuff everywhere. It was just very crowded with stuff, and I can imagine a sun like that was peeking over a corner somewhere in that, too. Oh, that is beautiful. The Erudite Hermit of the Mysteries. She renamed these, and she explains why she does it in the Book of Maps, and I like her reasoning on a lot of them. Part of me is a very traditional person, though, so I really like the fact that um, the labels point us towards towards the um, towards the original name in some cases. The Wheel of Life. That's a vicious-looking sphinx, all right. Destiny turning. The Chancellor, the Angel of Justice. Absolutely beautiful. The Outlaw. Sacrifice and Redemption. Look at the way that water swirls. It feels like I could just actually feel the tide coming in and going out. Passage to Initiation. Mine wasn't that scary, but I love the water again, the connection with the, with the outlaw, the way the water can carry you forward to this point where you reach the initiation, I'm sure you'll see it as well in the angel here. The angel I was talking about before, who is Sagittarius, there's the arrow again. Um, my God, that's beautiful, and there's water and water. The demon. Bum, bum, bum. Battling the Typhon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Although, this demon is chained. Normally, you see... Normally you see his victims being chained, but here the demon has changed. Interesting. I'm going to look forward to reading that. The tower. And that's the trident. I think we saw the trident on the outlaw. Material and spiritual colliding. Oh, I love the vibrating, pulsating, swirling energy. That serpent's growth is getting a little out of control there. The healer. Gifts of the spirit. The card formerly known as the star. My God, she's beautiful. I love the symbol there. All star. Stepping stones to the temple across the water. Gateway of Resurrection, the Necromancer. Mm -mm -mm. Good old Anubis. The heart weighed against the feather. Scared. The warrior, master of the mystic light. Wow. The sun. 
the Apocalypse, the Last Judgment, Tree of Life, which is also a Caduceus. But instead of snake heads, we've got Ibises for Toph, who's also a Hermes archetype. Or maybe Hermes is a Toth archetype. Uh, it is beautiful, and I love the way she's mingling the symbols. The New World Order, the Crown of the Magi. Pretty cool. Is it? What's the the bird that drinks its own blood and rejuvenates? Ace of Scepters, The Awakening, Fire. The Ace of Chalices, The Purifying. Wow, she's breaking up the 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 the, the, the order she she packs the deck in. The order in the deck isn't the the entire suit. She's got the aces separated, which is kind of cool. The Holy Grail. The Ace of Swords, the crowning. Hmm. The Bread of Life, the Ace of Orbs, the deepening. Interesting. Okay. Ah, she's got it broken down. It, 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 it's the numbers throughout. So we've got the two of scepters, two of chalices. There's another caduceus, this time with the lion head. The blind seer. Now, one fun thing to do at some point might be to put it together like a puzzle piece and see how all the different pieces of bits of water connect. The two of orbs. The politic, three of scepters. The kindred, three of chalices. Of course, the problem for me is when I hear the term the kindred, I think about vampire-related role-playing games and bad TV shows. <laughs> but I know these ladies are not that. With, well, apparently I don't have a lot of storage on my phone because we ran out of video space as I started talking about this card. But what I wanted to say was... I always think of this card as being broken-hearted, and part of that's the cold, driving rain. And When I first saw the picture of this online, I thought maybe I'd miss that. Um, and some of the scene, like the water, the foliage, almost seems fairly peaceful to me. But that heart really, really does look like it's been kind of ripped up, and of course it's the bereaved. But, since we don't want to run out of space again, we don't want this video to be amazingly long. Maybe I should move faster, even though I want to linger. But I can linger in my own time, I suppose. Three of Orbs. The Archangel of Glory. Angel of Art and Grace. Angel who solves and purifies. Angel of Storms and Battles, Archangel of Mysteries, the Angel who Illuminates, the Sanctum of Splendor, the Ivory Shield, the Scarlet Shield, the Sanctum of the Valiant. Mm -mm. I love the effect of that radiating light on all of them. The Sanctum of Treasures, 
the shining flame, embers of the salamander. Heart of a poet there, Miss Wynn. The shining waters, the waves of the undine. Oh, speaking of the undine. Winds of the sylph. i got a great story about a sylph I've got to tell sometime. The Shining Quarry, Caverns of the Gnome. Herald of the Flame, Awaken the Brilliance. The Herald of the Waters, Inspire the Prodigy. Herald of the Winds, Ventures of the Dauntless. Herald of the Earth, Dedication of the Adept. Ooh, the Demi-Urge. That's an awful big card, but then again, four is an awfully interesting number numerologically. The Hollow Void. The Convalescent. Very pretty. You know... Not to belittle anything, but it reminds me of one of those paintings in the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland or Disney World where, you know, you're sort of on the car moving through the room and the paintings start to come alive. The Conservator, Four of Orbs. The Contender. It's hard not to, you know, say, I could have been a... The Grotesque. The Hector. The Vagabond. The Champion. Oh my goodness. The beautiful woman who's obviously a warrior Sitting on the felines. How many goddesses are there out there that are seated on felines from Freya being pulled by her chariot of cats to Ishtar and Anana? The memory keeper, the six of chalices. Quester. I suppose I could probably be faulted for not talking a lot about the phoenix and the dragon's appearances throughout this deck, and here they are hatching. Out of memory. Six of swords. Mercury symbol. A quiver. The dark horse. Oh, these guys do not stand a chance against this person, I know that. Very nice. The Corrupter. I gotta look at this one closer up. No, I should have taken my glasses off. Very nice. The Seven of Swords, the Rogue, the Gardener, the Sharpshooter, mm -mm -mm. Looks kind of that's that looks kind of like Athena up there. The Eight of Chalices. This tooth again, Doth. The Eight of.
of sorts. A journeyman. A pugilist. I like the dog or the wolf. The wish granted, the nine of chalices. Time to start making wishes. The nine of swords. Which reminds me, I'm getting to this too late in the day and I hear my own pet calling to me, but boy, I've been waiting for this. The nine of orbs. Burdened one. Got a little Atlas vibe going there, huh? Or a big Atlas vibe. Obviously, the spheres of the heavens. So he's holding the whole sky on his shoulders. Definitely an Atlas, Atlas figure. A joyous one. Look at the size of her. Uh, I had an interesting vision similar to this, but I could share at some point too. The Destroyer, the Ten of Swords. The serpent climbing up that sword. Now some of these symbols are absolutely amazing. The Dynasty. And that is the deck. I want to give it. A, I want to give it a shuffle for you, but I don't want to take it out of order yet. I want to look at it in order a few more times. However, I'm going to meander over back over to the desk and make an announcement. Hey everybody! So the announcement is: I just cannot wait to start using this beautiful deck. Um, there's a whole system of magic in here, and there's a whole bunch of symbols that are merging and mixing and mingling and creating whole new symbol sets. So as a, as a tool for meditation and as a tool of talismanic magic and as a tool for other kinds of magic, it's going to take me a long time to absorb a lot and to think a lot. Even divination, pure, undefiled, like connecting to the divine divination. It's going to be a while of working with this deck before I start to get to where I want to be with it. But I really want to start working with this deck now. I want to be bonding with it. I want the symbols to be entering into my mind and, and, and mixing and mingling with me and the world to, to show me new things. And I think the easiest way to just dive right in and get a lot of experience working with it right away, while part of me is working slowly towards this magical, through this magical process and this magical digestion, um, the other part of me wants to gorge and, and experience a lot right away. And I think in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule um, for this coming Saturday, today's October 18th, I think I will be uploading this tomorrow, which is Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. So Saturday would be October 23rd. So I think October 23rd, around 9 p.m. Eastern time, um, it's like six for those of you out on the west coast and um like two or three in the morning for some of my friends abroad sorry about that gang um i'm going to just do a live broadcast and and um if you look around on my channel here you'll see that from time to time i do live broadcasts and i'll do free tarot readings for people um usually one card pulls through three card pulls and um I have a lot of fun doing it, and people seem to have a lot of fun doing it. I always seem to pick up a whole bunch more followers when I do it. They don't, oh, well, not followers, subscribers. This isn't Twitter, and I don't like the term followers anyway. 
pick up a whole bunch of new subscribers. Um, when I do that, they don't all watch the videos. In fact, most of them don't. I think they're just subscribed um, so they can hit the bell so that they know when I'm going to do it again. Um, but I always have fun. I enjoy meeting with people. I enjoy talking to people. Um, I enjoy the exchange of energies with them asking their questions in the cards and I and them pulling out answers. I want to do it with this deck. I want to I want to plunge in with this deck. Now I'm not super ultra familiar with all of the symbol sets that, that Miss Wen has put in it yet. I haven't finished the new version of the Book of Maps yet. Uh, some of them I recognize. I'm, I, I like to believe I'm, I know a lot of symbols. Um, not as many as there are on, in this deck. Um, but this is still a tarot deck and I still am very, very familiar with all the traditional meanings and, um, and whatnot. And so I want to work with it. And so I think Saturday, 9 p.m., I'm going to be here doing lives. I will schedule that so that people can see that it's coming up. Um, if you're interested in uh, experiencing this new deck in action with me, please come by and, uh, you know, I'll pull a card for you. Anyway, thank you for spending some time with me to look at... Uh, Benabel Wen's um, Spirit Keepers Revelation Edition Tarot Deck. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to jump into it. Um, Ms. Wen, if you're out there listening, mwah, I love it. I thank you for all your hard work and effort. I know pride cometh before a fall, but if you're tempted to give into some, you deserve to give into it a little bit and enjoy it and celebrate it because an amazing achievement. So, thanks, and I will catch y'all later. Bye-bye.